Right, YouTube, how's everybody doing today? Uh, we are going to be learning one of my all-time favorite songs. This is Simple Man by Charlie Daniels Band. This is not the Leonard Skinner version, so uh, I hate to disappoint those who clicked on it. I'm going to teach you today, I'm going to teach you how to play the verse, I'm going to teach you how to play the chorus, and I'm going to teach you how to play the riff. Um, we'll do the riff at the end. I, I did a couple videos trying to show it, and it takes a little while to explain. So for those of you who are just here to get the chord progression, then uh, we'll go through that first. Uh, the chords uh, are very simple. I mean, these are very simple open chords. Um, it starts with an E. So there, I've seen him play it in two keys, and I will tell you that I've we watched him play live a couple weeks ago with Travis Tripp, and I mean, for 84 years old, he's rocking it. But uh, he actually finger picks this. So you can finger pick these or you can strum them. I'm, this is for beginners uh, on up, so uh, I wanted to make sure and show you the, what I think is the easiest way to do it. So it starts on an E, right? So I ain't nothing but a simple man. Then it goes to a D. You call me a redneck, I reckon that I am. Then an A. But there's things going on, make me mad down to the core. And on core, he goes back to E. Core. I had to work like a dog, make ends meet. So that's E. And then go to D. There's crooked politicians and crime in the street. Then A. No matter in hell, that ain't going to take it no more. And on more, he goes back to, back to the E. And then it just keeps, you know, the, the verse, it keeps repeating that E, D, A. So we tell our kids, just say no. This some panty waist judge lets a drug dealer go. Slaps him on the wrist and he turns him back out on the town. He's back on town, he goes back to eat. So, if I had my way with people selling dope, take a big tall tree and a short piece of rope. I hang him up by the left slang till the sun goes down. I'm down, he goes back to eat. So that's the, I mean, that's the, uh, that's the verse. It's E, D, A. Okay? Now, for the chorus, he starts the chorus on D. Uh, so, you know what's wrong? And I, see, I, I hang my pine little swing till the sun goes down. That's E. And then he goes to the D. And well, you know what's wrong with the world today? He doesn't go and put the Bible's away. So it's, you know what's wrong with the world today is D. Uh, then he goes to A. He doesn't go and put the Bible's away. And then he goes back to D. Living by the law of the jungle, not the law of the... And then he goes to the E. Living by the law of the jungle, not the law of the land. And on land, he goes back to E. And then he goes... And then the next part of the chorus, the second part of the chorus is... Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the words. Uh, living by the law of the jungle, not the law of the land. Well, the good book says it, so I know it's the truth. Then A, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And then, instead of going back to D like you did in the first part of the course, you're going to go to E, and you're going to go, you better watch where you go, and to, that's E, and then D, remember where you've been, and then A, that's the way I see it, I'm a simple, and then back to the E. Man, so on man, he goes, that kind of resolves the course. So, again, on the chorus, it's D, A, D, E, and then D, A, uh, E, D, A, right? So, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the chorus, man. That's the verse and the chorus. So again, I'm going to go through these real quick. E, that's how the song starts. E, I ain't nothing but a simple man. D, you call me a redneck, I reckon that I am. A, there's things going on with this man down to the core. E, right? So you keep doing that over and over again during the verse. And then when you get to the chorus, it's, uh, D, we well, you know what's wrong with the world today. A, people don't go and put the Bibles away. D, living by the law of the jungle, not the law of the E. Land, E, land, is an E. 
Then back to the D. What your good book says is so I know it's the truth. A. I for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And then to the E. You better watch where you're going. Remember where you've been. That's D. Remember where you've been. A. That's the way I see it. I'm a simple. And then on man, he goes to the E. Man. So, all right, for those guys, for those of you that just wanted the chord progression, that's it. Now we'll get into the riff. The riff is, is a little bit more difficult. It's not a, I wouldn't call it a beginner riff. It took me a little while to learn it, but uh, it starts with the low E, right? And then he plucks the D string and hammers onto the second fret. And then he takes his pinky and comes up here, and I don't know if this is exactly how he plays it, but and uh, this is how this is how I, I've seen a lot of people play it. So uh, you hit the low E, hammer onto the second fret, come up with your pinky and grab the fifth fret of the D string, and pull off back off to the second fret. So it, right, and then you're going to come up to the A string and you're going to grab the fifth fret and you're gonna pull off to the second fret. And then you're gonna grab the, you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna grab the low E string and bend down, do a half step bend and release it. And I kinda, I pluck it again when I, you don't have to pluck it. You could just let it go. But I think it sounds, kinda gives it more resolve. So you do, you do that twice, you go. And then what you do is you put your finger, your pointer finger on the A string at the second fret. So, because you're going into the second part of the riff at that point and kind of the, to get you to the end of that, uh, I guess it was that, that second measure of the riff, you kind of just do that. Go back and forth between the low E and the and the A, A string. Okay. Now the next part of the riff. All right. I played that real slow for you guys. So what you're doing is you're starting on the B string and you're hammering on to that. You're plucking it and hammering on to the third fret. And then you're plucking the high E. So. On the third fret, pluck the high E. Right? So. And then you're gonna pluck, then you're gonna uh, fret the third fret of the high E. And you're gonna kind of do a. I've heard, I've heard people refer to it as a train whistle bend. It's a little quarter step bend, that little. And you're gonna let it, you're gonna release and pluck it. So the whole thing is. So you do that little quarter step bend, release, and pluck, and pluck it again. And then you, what you do, so after you've gotten through that, then what you want to do is you want to go back to the B, and then hammer, you know, hammer on with the, on the third fret on the B again, and pluck the high E again right afterwards. But instead of going to the high E and fretting the third fret, you're going to come back up to the D string and grab that fifth fret and kind of pull it down a little bit with your pinky and then release to the fifth, to the second fret. So. Right? So that, that's that piece. Then you go back to the B again. So you do your little, your little hammer on and you pluck the high E right afterwards, right? So you hammer on the third fret, pluck the high E, and then in where you would have where you would have done that little train whistle bend, what you want to do is you want to pluck the third fret of the high E, oh, you, and then slide up to the seventh fret, and then go back and grab the third fret of the high E, pluck that, and then release. So. Missed it. 
right? So you slide up, the way I do it is I slide up with my middle finger to the seventh fret, and then I come back and I take my index finger, and I grab that third fret, and then I release. that twice at the very beginning of the song and then you go into your E. Well, I ain't nothing but a simple man and then you then you can play it however you want to from there you can you, know, you can finger pick it you can strum it however you want to play it from there so that's uh that's what I got for you guys thank you for coming now if you like this comment below uh, any songs that you guys want to hear. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to try to do it every day. So comment below and let me know what you guys want to learn because if I have to just keep coming up with them, we're going to run out of Charlie Daniels and David Alec Coe songs pretty quick. Thanks.